Hello again, uh, welcome back. I uh, just want to say a big thank you to all of our new subscribers that we've picked up. Uh, I was a bit of a surprise to check my YouTube account this morning and find that uh, the subs have gone up to 147. So we're not far off 150. Uh, so thank you, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, just a quick background for the, all of those that have just joined us. Uh, my name's Dave. I'm uh, a big fan of AC Electrics, uh, particularly the West Coast Main Line. And uh, my other layout, Wembleston Park, is uh, in double O gauge and it's a 16 by 8 exhibition layout. Uh, it's fully automated. Uh, using Merg Superblock system, but uh, it's all DC, so nothing's chipped or anything, and it's got a, a fully fitted sound system. So if you go back through my previous videos, uh, you'll see how I constructed the sound unit, uh, how I did the MP3 files. Uh, there's a video, uh, a vlog from when we went to Stephen and Shaw, and uh, I think there's a video if you go right back to the very first one I uploaded. There's a video of uh, when we were at Shildon. Uh, a couple of years ago with the layout. Uh, but anyway, that's the background. The reason I'm doing the little end gauge layout, sorry I'm shaking the camera, hang on a second. I'll just uh, balance that there. Right, the, re the reason that uh, I've started the end gauge layout is uh, mainly due to this lockdown uh, that the country's under at the moment. Uh, it's looking like a lot of the model railway shows uh, are going to be cancelled for the foreseeable future. Uh, we should have been at uh, Scunthorpe two weeks ago and uh, that got cancelled. Our next show is Shildon and again I've got a feeling that might be cancelled in October given the state of uh, the way the country's going at the moment. Uh, so in the meantime I thought well I needed a new project and um, the other issue I had was Wembleston being a show layout it's only really viewable from the front and when it's at home it's up against the garage wall and even with mirrors down one side of the wall you, you, you can't really appreciate it uh, so I wanted something that was slightly smaller something I could just sit and relax watch the trains go by and uh, get some enjoyment out of the modelling again so uh, hence I've come up with this project uh, another love that I have is uh, like Switzerland, the scenery and Scotland uh, so I thought I wanted to do a, a mountain scene and uh, I wanted to capture uh, stuff that I remember from a school trip 40 years ago uh, so I thought it would be really cool to do a Swiss landscape but run West Coast mainline stock uh, it's purely fictitious, fictitious. Uh, it's my own home layout if I ever did show it I think it would upset a few people but you know, at the end of the day, it's my layout, and I, and I run it for enjoyment. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, when I started building Wembleston, uh, it didn't have its own YouTube channel back then. There's uh, there's a couple of videos on my West Coast Miniatures YouTube channel of uh, Wembleston when it was being built with a couple of test trains on, but that was about it. Uh, so with this one. I thought that I would uh, do some video updates of it and it seems to be gaining a little bit of interest especially uh, my use of Formex. Uh, yeah so if anyway Formex is uh, commonly used by sign writers so if you want to get hold of some go and speak to your local sign writer uh, buy them a packet of biscuits or something and ask if you can have a rummage through the skip uh, or alternatively see if they've got any off cuts that they were willing to sell you uh, it comes commonly it comes in 10 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and 3 millimeter sheets, and uh, it's quite easy to work with. Uh, on Wembleston itself, I carved some petrol pumps out of it, and uh, I'm just looking behind me. Sorry, <laughs> I was going to show you the petrol pumps, but it's a bit dark down there into the garage, so uh, we'll do it another time. But anyway, that's a bit of background. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what I've been on with. Well, as you can see, I've put a bit of paint on the bridge. Uh, it's come out quite well, actually. I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Uh, what's really, really good is the prototype one. The uh, brick courses uh, are not exactly straight, so it's uh, a bit of model modeler's license to just basically scribe them freehand, which is what I have done, and it doesn't look that far off. Uh, the handrails, if I just zoom back in, the handrails are uh, the dressmaker's pins 
that I was using yesterday and all I've done is I've pushed them in and just wrapped some wire around and uh, these these will be secured at the top of the posts uh, when I get some super glue to do it with so for the time being I've just pushed them down so they don't slide off uh, but yeah I'm quite pleased with that uh, overall the way the layouts coming together it's going to look really really good uh, at the back there you can see there's a cardboard cutout that I use for the front I've now placed it up there to get an idea of where the next bridge is going to go and right at the top you'll see uh, there's a bit of plywood just there across the, the back that will be the top level of the layout uh, if anybody's familiar with a place called uh, Wassan uh, in Switzerland it's where the Gothard route uh, the northern uh, ramp up to the tunnel goes past the village and it's the place with the the white church where the railway goes past three times so I've kind of got the inspiration from there and uh, as you come into the village there's this big deep ravine with these series of railway bridges so uh, that's kind of where I've based this on uh, down here there's going to be a lake scene uh, this is based on a section of line at uh, on Lake Geneva that I, I visited on a school trip I'm toying with the idea at the moment of uh, painting the stonework on the church uh, I'm thinking that if I, if I go over the stonework with white to match the tower and possibly change the colour of the roof it will look a little bit more continental uh, don't know yet, jury's out on whether I'm going to do that or not uh, I haven't decided on the design of this bridge yet uh, we'll, we'll see uh, I did wonder whether a, a, an arch bridge would look good or some kind of girder bridge but I do, wherever I do I don't want to detract from what's going on up here uh, just down here is one of them N-Gage uh, Del Prado locomotives of the world uh, models uh, these came with magazines quite a few years ago you can still pick them up on eBay for not a lot of money but it's unpowered uh, I have looked at trying to get into it to see if it's possible to motorise it if anybody's done one please let me know in the comments and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure the wheelbase and have a look to see if I can find a suitable chassis to uh, to fit the loco but the intention is that uh, primarily I'm going to be running the West Coast stock right anyway uh, on to a little project uh, this is the next section that I'm going to be working on uh, so I'll just pop this out onto the bench and we'll have a look at it okay this is the uh, the next section of the bridge that I'm going to be working on uh, as you can see I've cut a little notch out of this side now uh, what I've done is two pieces of 5 mil Formex board and these are actually going to form the hillside which is going to be underneath uh, so basically what's going to happen is uh, there's this piece here this is 5 mil as well is this goes into there so that should slide into there like that so you need about six pairs of hands and then this piece here that will kind of line up with that so it kind of does this and then the idea is hopefully if I can glue all this lot together this will slide back in into the landscape underneath the bridge so that's the plan now then just a little tip this might work it might not work uh, it's just something I thought of but uh, what I've done is uh, if you get a piece of wire just take a, take a piece of wire like that <clears throat> and then if you put that on there and if I move the wire round I don't know if you can see that because my big fat fingers are in the way you can see that that piece of wire comes to there that should be the length of that so what I've done is I've got some 3 mil board here 3 mil Formex so I've marked that onto there and I've marked a line on there so in theory when I cut this this should then fit round there so what I've done is there's one arch there's two arches there's three arches uh, this stuff's fairly easy to, uh, to work with <coughs> excuse me lighting in here is not brilliant so basically all you do to this is you just get a knife score through it couple of scores through 
there we go there's one board and then we'll cut the second one that's the second bit and then finally the third bit I really must get my garage tidied out and then I can get the, the little GoPro camera out and do them fancy time lapse videos like everybody does right so there you go there's my three sections okay so what I now need to do is get the heat gun and uh, where's that piece gone there we go right so there's the first arch so what we need to do is I need to go around like that so uh, if I find roughly oops a daisy well if I find roughly where it is and I'll just warm it up in the middle of there so I'll just grab the heat gun right hit your heat gun and gently warm it up you can see it starting to bend already carefully don't burn your fingers doesn't need much heat there we go and then that should just bend round like that I think I need a bit more heat on that I'll just uh, getting a bit hot right there we go a bit more heat into it so all I'm gonna do the same as before just gonna slowly bend it round to fit slowly bend that round to fit getting a few kinks in it because I've uh, haven't heated it properly hang on a minute So that should just fit in there like that. Don't worry too much about the top pieces because you'll not see them when it's fastened together. So there you go, there's one section. Make sure that's straight. So that, once that's pinned into the back of there, that will form inside of that archway like that right there we go so I don't know if they can see that it's just slightly bigger there so all I've got to do is just square this piece off so uh, I'll now do the next two and then we'll move on to the next part of the build right well there we go I've bent all three sets of the uh, the inner liners uh, had a bit of a chew on with these they're not quite bending as well as they were yesterday I think it must be just down to the individual sheet of board uh, one tip as well is don't hold small parts like that obviously uh, for health and safety because you will burn your fingers uh, the easiest way to do it is just to put it on a flat surface uh, preferably one that's uh, not going to catch fire and just warm it up until the thing's nice and supple and then just uh, bend it round uh, but yeah we've got there now I've got them three parts so before I, I go to pin them together it might be an idea just to do some of the detailing so uh, let's just see if I can uh, zoom that camera in a little bit in so you can kind of see what I'm doing this is really really difficult to do no it's not going to work 
what I'll do is I'll just keep the I'll keep the camera there. I'm actually standing on a metal toolbox with the camera on a microphone stand. So it's not ideal. But anyway, roughly the top of this is roughly where the arch the, the keystones will be. So if I just score around like this. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. Uh, so anyway if I just kind of score round like that that will give me the top of the arch and then if I do the same here just gently score it round like that trying to keep it parallel so that one goes there and then with this one score that round like that to there and then all I do all I'm going to do is just mark in where the stones would be so if we just gently mark them in like that much easier if I was actually closer to the work and not standing back by about 18 inches with a camera under my arm but uh, you get the gist of it so we just kind of do this Next, I'm just going to get a screwdriver and all I'm going to do is just go over where I scored it with a knife and this just makes the indentations a little bit bigger and then if I score around there as well As you can see, it then embosses the, the brickwork. So it's just a case of working your way around. And you should end up with something like that. It should look pretty good when the when these pieces have been fitted into there. That should look pretty good when it's done. Right, here we go. I've scrubbed all the brickwork in. What I've done is I've got an old Pico tunnel mouth here, and I've kind of used that to gauge roughly the size of the brickwork. Like I say, it's only a home layout. I'm not that fussed of it being to scale or anything like that. Uh, I mean, to be honest, once it's been painted, you're not going to see most of it anyway. Right, now then, the next thing is we're going to pin this onto there. So for that, I shall uh, try to do this without knocking the camera. The camera's on my shoulder now. Okay, so start with the bottom 
I'll narrow it with the bottom of that and the bottom of that and be very careful you didn't go through your fingers so just push the pin in like that and then clip the top off there we go so essentially all we do is just work my way up to the, the top of the arch so if I put a pin in roughly there as you can see the pins go in fairly easily I'm not using the hammer I'm just pushing them in with a pair of pliers so that'll go in like that and then we'll work round just ease the archway up a little bit so it lines up take care that you don't shove the pins through your fingers you only do it once trust me there and then we work our way back down the other side so we'll pop the pin in roughly there I won't push that in too far because I can see it through the edge of the board there we go that's now pinned on nice and solid so I'm now just gonna pause the camera and put the other two arches in okay I've now pinned on the inner arches now the next part of the jigsaw puzzle is to get this base in there now you remember I've cut a little notch this piece of 5 mil board will fit in there and I don't know if you can see there's a little line that I drew so basically that needs to be pinned there and then this other piece that's here this would line up with that and roughly that will glue into there and that will form the sub assembly which will then slide into the bridge okay so again I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn it over and I'm going to pop some pins through just to uh, pin this together so I'll be back in a moment okay it's confession time uh, I found it was easier to actually hold the bottom section and then put a blob of hot glue on with a glue gun at the back just to hold it in place uh, then I've, what I've then done is then put the pins in so I've, I've put a couple of these pins in as well but uh, yep that's looking pretty good uh, what I've done is I've glued in I've uh, dribbled hot glue down the insides of there and I've obviously done it at the tops as well so this this is rock solid so uh, hopefully this should just slide into its position on the layout uh, we'll find out in a moment but on the, on the whole I'm quite happy with that right then let's uh, let's see if this thing fits sorry that should just slide through into here and that should go into that hole like that and that if I can get it past the little wooden lip underneath it should go in that's a tight fit there we go that's uh, that's looking pretty good that leg so there we go it's another piece of the scenery completed should blend in quite well 
Uh, let's just uh, put the coaches back on. I was hoping the track would have been delivered today, but uh, apparently not. Should get it tomorrow. Right, there we go. So there we go, folks. There's another section of the the bridge completed. Looking pretty good. Right, so until the next time, this is uh, Dave signing off. Uh, please sub for further updates. Like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Uh, thank you for watching. Cheerio.